right back in the greenhouse. We starting to get everything out into all the beds, the sensory garden, the, the main gardens, the perennial beds, the annual beds. So now every morning I come in here and I water two to three hours. At the minimum, it takes two hours to water all of this stuff uh, if you do it properly. We having a nice, nice long stretch of hot days. Every day is hitting 90 in May. So pots are super dry, especially the little ones, the little plugs. those petunias looking real pretty uh, I actually just planted some those, some of those purple petunias today and some of those and some of those in the ground so yeah this is pretty much the work I'm doing I'm on hands and knees planting every day getting dirty so this is uh, back in April PBJ SCN 13s, slim fit. This will be eight months, no wash. I also picked up the red wing Dynaforce, uh, the 400s. I didn't really need steel toes. But anyway, I like, I like the color of these. And then of course they darken when you get them conditioned and I didn't have a choice. I had to get them conditioned or else I would have worked through these boots in six months. So uh, I really plan on going back. It has a scratch at the top of the, on the top of the leather. So if that starts to leak on me, I'll be going back, especially before my years up. When I took this video, it was, uh, I hadn't got them conditioned yet. So it hadn't even been a month. in April. So I think I got them at the beginning of April. Well, yeah, here's another view of the jeans and the boots. Now, later on in the video, I'll have some new jeans to show. Um, the Strike Golds. I like how the PBJ stay on the top and it shows it. You can see more of the top of the boot. And the, the strike goes, their leg opening is a little more wider, so it goes all the way down. And I just like this slim look of the PBJs at the bottom, this tapered look, I should say. Um, I just, I can't, the crotch is what's killing me. And I don't know if I need a low back rise or a high back rise. I don't know the fucking difference. I just go off of the iron hearts, what's closest to the iron hearts. And really, I don't even do that. I, I, I pick the denim first. So I don't even, I'm looking at the denim. What do I want? And then I try to see what size matches up closest to my iron hearts. All right, this is May 12th, nine months, no wash. Looking good. This is, I was about a week, this was a couple days ago. So yeah, we were planting and sweating and yeah, it looks, looks pretty faded. At first I was thinking like I was well, I was struggling because I thought these were only at six months and I realized they were at nine. So it's not that bad. I could alternate, but you know, I don't, I don't really like doing that shit. I like to wear one at a time, break those in. And, but the crotch is about to give out in the PBJs. Um, the cuff is creating a hole. And these are the boots one month in two conditions. I'll be taking them to get conditioned every month. And this month, May, I'll, I'll take them probably, well, we already mid-May. So maybe next week I'll take them in. 
and I just wipe them off before I take them in and they'll throw some conditioner on it and I'll be on my way. But yeah, this is, again, just shit I do all day. <laughs> Not all day, but all morning. Oh, finna serve some shit up, Wendy. Yeah, um, tending to the greenhouse, then going out, tending to my beds. I need to hurry up. Well, they need to hurry up and give me my goddamn seasonal. Because doing this shit, we just need seasonals. And we got to wait till they finish up high school. So for as far as the new denim, this was the denim I originally wanted, the Ultra Slubby, the 7109s. I saw the other pair. If I scroll down just a little bit more, you got the 6109s, the Super Slubbies, for $50 less. Uh, a one ounce difference. They're both Zimbabwe cotton, you know, shit like that. So I don't know how much of a difference that one ounce makes super slubby to ultra slubby, but uh, for $50, I'll take the super. And it's for work, so it's like, why are you spending more than you have to? And I've always wanted to try Strike Gold, so I'm really excited about these. Got a size 31, of course, and these are unsanforized, so I'll be soaking them. Yeah. Nice label buttons on there. I mean, that's standard. Gold salvage. That's a nice touch. I just, the only thing with these is they they look too much like Levi's, that their symbol. I don't fucking, I can't fuck with I don't, and the, the red tag. Ain't nobody going to be looking that close to it. They say, oh, that's, that's gold, straight gold. First off, nobody knows what these are. So the first thing they're going to think is Levi's. And nah, my boy, I wouldn't even, I can't even get down with. Anyway, that's besides the point. And then I picked them up, and you can see the texture, the hairiness. Uh, it's not as irregular as the PBJs, but um, the PBJs didn't have this much quote-unquote hair. This is pre-soap. Just wanted to show the difference. Uh, like I said, size 31. I'll go ahead and soak this in cold water first. If I need a little bit more, um, I'll soak it in some warm, warmer water. But for work, I don't need them as tight as the iron hearts. The reason I got these is because my iron heart, the 14 ounce, they're a little too tight for work. And it's like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Again, this is pre-soap. With the RGTISC shirt on. Can't really see it, the sign isn't out, but. I had it on this morning, so I figured I'd keep it on for the video. So May 13th, yesterday I went ahead and Soaked them after work for 45 minutes 
and then took him outside, let him dry. I thought it was going to rain last night, so I took him outside to let him dry a little bit. Then I brought him back in, hung him up over the bathtub. Didn't even wring him out, just took him straight outside in the bin. Let him drip dry. So this is the next day in the morning before work. Just trying them on. They felt good, felt good around the knees, felt good in the crotch, especially. Much better than the, the PBJs, so as far as the crotch. And I mean, they, they were pretty rough when I first put them on and then they instantly got soft and it's like, oh yeah, this is, I remember this from, but I don't know if the, I don't know. I don't, what was that soft? Ah, I can't put my finger on it. I know it wasn't the PBJs and I know it wasn't the Iron Heart. So I don't know what I'm thinking about because that's all I really got right now. I don't have any RGT unsanforized. But yeah, this is about the fit I'm looking for. This is probably the the fit yeah i'm i'm not going to soak them anymore so i already warm this is after work same day so today again i was planting putting stuff in the dirt on my hands and knees so uh first day wearing them I had wood chips and worms all type of stuff but it was it was hot too, so every time I'm, you know, kneeling down, the back of my knees is getting all it, it's rigid back there. I wouldn't say cut up, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. The denim softened up immediately, but it's still rough, obviously. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to alternate between these and the PBJs, if I'm gonna try to wash the PBJs to get them fixed. If that's the case, I'm gonna wear them till I can't fix them. Cause I could do the little repairs myself, um, but I do want the the cuffs to be darned, especially on my iron hearts. And like I said, I got a little hole coming in on the PBJs. Yeah, man, that's about it for this one.